Hi, welcome to the Native Wildman channel. Your host, Sean Catfish Wilson speaking. And welcome to another Tea Time Tuesday. And if you've seen my short, then You'll know what this one's going to be a boot. But first we have some Konza breakfast tea. We've got Konza breakfast tea. It's from Ellen's Planted Teas. It's been cold brewed. Which that just means you just set the leaves in room temperature water or whatever. It takes longer, but... Always, I like to experiment, so. Okay, we have Gonzo's reviews. Luminati Ninja, Radina's Local Taste Better. Victoria May, The Quiet Listener. Women Carry Knives, A Therapeutic Edge. Do something kind of somebody. Crossover Paranormal Society. Ellen's Planet Teas. Ellen's Oolong. That's a really good tea from them. Kitty Cat with a Knife. Essie. Forest Hanks. Crossover Paranormal Society. The Gypsy and the Vanilla Gonrilla, Catching Them Fish, Big Red EDC, Danny Day's Homestead, Big Tiny Outdoors, Grumpy Grunt, My Bad Adventures, Yonin's Edge, Gal Southern Living, The Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla, any Finn, Native Wild Man, it was a moth, Mothra, the Sunfish King, Madisfaction, Savivi Knives, or wait, no, that's a CGRB Knives, I want Savivi Knives. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That's where I just got my new beauty I'm going to show y'all. ODC for EDC. Off the Hook Outdoors. The Laugh Channel. EDC Q. On the Wild Side. Wild Japan. Hog Deer 79. Hunting, Fishing taxidermy chillin indiana carl jail bait and tackle outdoors lefty edc some old man outdoors angling spiders knives fast zack stuff matt's fishing mission the sunfish king again and true budget edc Go check out all these fine channels. And we will get on to the tape. We will get on to the taste test. And keep away all the vampires. Ah, ah. This is a root that I dug up one day. I was out repairing an irrigation break and I thought it was kind of cool and it was in the shape of a cross. So I decided to keep it. You know, I can make some bling. Fail. Now, I, I thought it was cool, so I kept it. 
Okay, so the first thing you notice when you do a cold brew is the leaves do not expand near as much. Um, so yeah, the leaves don't expand near as much as they do on hot water. The taste is definitely different. Um, it's a little more mild of a taste. But you still get your earthy, your multi, malt taste. Maybe you kind of, um, and I've heard that, um, like my wildflower, they say it kind of has a or Gypsy and Vanilla Grill said so it's kind of a coffee taste. Jeff, you should uh, try um, the Sun Black Tea by itself if you can find it in your area. You can order it. Uh, you can order it from Ellen's Planet Teas. They have it, and they will ship out to you. So, or anyone for that matter. If you like coffee, then there's a high chance that you might like the Sun Black Tea. Oh, I forgot, I think. Spirit Brothers UK. So. Alright. What we have here is a Case Congress. It has four blades. It has a uh, pluck a duck if I know what type of blade this is, but it has this type of blade. Oh, hold on, let me find something that. Oh, son of a biscuit eater. Forget he signs 99.9% .9 of everything, which is cool. I appreciate getting signed stuff from people. Uh, okay, this ought to work. Yeah. So it has this blade, then it has um, the sheep's foot blade. Well, some people call it a horn cliff, but I've only called it a sheep's foot. Do I have my actual horn cliff on me? So this is a worn clip, and if you notice, they are slightly different styles. So, but like I said, yet yeah, um, this specific blade style is kind of a touchy issue with some people. So like I said, some people say this is a sheep's foot. Some people say I say this is a sheep's foot. Some people say it's a horn clip. And they'll also say this is a horn cliff, but to me this is a true horn cliff. But that's my opinion. I don't 
I'm not 100% sure if there's a right or a wrong. Then it has this little, um, almost spear point, but not quite. I think they consider the spear point on these. And it has this little blade on it. So. And it has a red case shield. Probably going to have to hold the camera so I can show you all better. So you've got, we've got the, uh, there we go, got the red case shield on it, it's navy blue, okay, yeah, it shows up this one right there. Got your sheep's foot. I actually think that's a spade blade. To, I'm, I'm not a blade shape expert. I do know a few of them. And these are both real similar type blades. And so I don't know what this is. And this is made from their True Sharp Surgical Stainless Steel. As the other says, this is a beautiful, beautiful knife. Oh, hey, awesome. That's actually showing up pretty good. And what I like is this one comes with the uh, half stop. And it's got silver bolsters, silver pins. No, no gaps, no gaps in it. They, they nailed the fit and finish on. They nailed the fit and finish on this. Smooth to the touch. And that little hint of the red shield, that goes real nice. As you know, Case does different shield. Got the arrowhead. And this is a lockback, too. Uh, they've got the oval. The oval, so like these two have about the same pattern in them. This is only red one. This is actually my only blue knife. Um, this is a pretty basic. And this is my only arrowhead one as of right now.
we we can't forget uh, can't forget this guy I'll show you in a second let me zoom out This is a collector's piece for me. Of course it comes with that. And then this is a certificate. And I've got the case mini fin somewhere, but I don't know where I put it at the moment. Anyways, stay tuned for a magic trip to the past. Ast, ast. I can even record too, if you want, or help you hold it, whatever is easiest. Getting a weight on this monster that Sean caught. Whew! That is quite a chain of cut. Look at him. Oh my god. Fourteen. Fourteen, man. Fourteen point six. Woo! That's my PB in here. PB Not channel my cap PB out of, out channel of, cap. But out of this. That would be my PB channel cap. <laughs> that yeah. is a good fish, man. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this is real good fish. This is yes, the is. fight's gonna be on Sunfish King's channel. Yep, I got the and fight. And then the whoa, Woo. away from the fire. And then the uh, ca the uh, weight and the release is gonna, I guess, be on both our channels. Yep, yep, we'll both have it. And I'm probably blinding the cameras pretty good. A little but bit. <laughs> look at this beauty. That is a beast. All right, let's get him back in the water. You need a picture with it, real quick. Yeah. Let me get a yeah. picture of you holding it. I'll turn it sideways back. one. Yeah, I can do one like that. And then we that can... way I can make a thumbnail with like, it. Oh, like this? Yeah, yeah, that way it goes good with the thumbnail. It's like smoke all over you and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sweet. All right, I got it back to video, and it's recording. So. All right. All right we're going to release this oh. good fella. You can turn your headlight back on and like, get more light on uh, Not with my hand, I can't. Uh, where's the button on top? Yeah. Just push it? Oh, shoot. That's <laughs> my bad, buddy. <laughs> uh, right here. Woo wee! Deeper spot. Okay. No rods he's gonna take out right away, is he? What a chunk, dude. Nice. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Woo! Native wild man fishing with the Sunfish King and the Hefe. Woo! Peace and long life, my friends.